Hi everyone, it's Jo Harris and today we're going to be exploring a thinking taxonomy. So what is the purpose of teaching or having this structure and strategies on how to think? Well, there's two ways that we're going to explore today and that is the SAMR model, which where the, the purpose of the SAMR model is that the teacher designs a task that has significant impact on student outcomes. And the other strategy or that we're going to look at is Bloom's taxonomy, where the teacher designs a task that targets a higher order, order cognitive skill set. That's a brain skill set level. So let's have a look at Bloom's taxonomy. And I've got a great graphic, uh, which I'm attaching at the bottom of this blog. And it's looking at Bloom's taxonomy. And there is, you can see there's heaps of iPads and online tools that we can use to bring each of these steps or parts of Bloom's taxonomy to life in our classroom. So personally, I have printed this off and laminated it and put it in my uh, compendium of teaching tools that I have, which will help lesson planning to be so much easier. So Bloom's taxonomy is lies within the cognitive domain. It was created in 1956 by Dr. Benjamin Bloom. And it's about promoting higher order thinking. So moving from low order thinking skills, such as remembering through to understanding, then applying, analyzing, evaluating, creating, and creating is actually the highest order thinking skill within this taxonomy. And the purpose of this is to promote higher forms of thinking in education, such as analyzing and evaluation, rather just than remembering sort facts, which is the rote learning, which many people in my generation, that's how we were raised. We were raised that we were good students if we could simply just remember the facts. Well, you know what? The bar has been raised and it's also just take not only knowing it, but actually being able to create something, which is takes learning to a whole new level. And um, yeah, it's, it's something that you have to persevere to learn. Now, the SAMA model, which is the second taxonomy that we're going to look at, was developed by Dr. Ruben Puentidura in the late 1980s. And this takes uh, thinking strategies from enhancement, which is the first two levels, through to transformation. So if you look at substitution where technology acts as a direct tool substitute with no change, for example, just copying text into your computer. So you type information straight into your computer. Through to, through to augmentation where technology enables you to act as a direct tool substitute with functional improvements. So for example, putting information into an Excel spreadsheet, which you can then manipulate uh, which will eventually save time um, and money. And through, that's the first two steps in enhancement. And then transformation is where it's modification, where the technology allows you for significant task redesign, for example, putting information into a, um, say, a mind map, for example, and a PowerPoint presentation, where to redefinition, where the technology allows for the creation of new tasks previously inconceivable, like creating this video, for example, or um, a blog, or a new model, for example, um, or iMovies, um, put them on YouTube. That's actually redefining it because you're actually, the technology is allowing you to be creative and put your spin on what the information is that you have. Now, why do why do why is the SAMA important? Well, it's intended to provide teachers with a way to self-reflect and refine their practice and pedagogy using instructional technology, and that's the source there. So, what is the role of technology? Well, it, SAMA uses a technology and four levels or ways to integrate technology into the lesson development, and it's to take learning into the students' worlds, all of their worlds, so home and school, and so that they, through the use of their technology that they use all the time, they see that it's, for example, the... Um, the iPhone is not just a way for social um, communication and texting and so on. It's actually a way, it's, a, it's an education tool that you can use through life to learn because you're curious and it hence create lifelong habits.
And it builds motivation and confidence to use technology to save time um, and money, be creative and actually produce something from your knowledge. So actuate your knowledge by producing something else with it. So can you interweave Bloom's Taxonomy and SAMA? Well, this is a great graphic here that you can see. And um, I'll just take you through now to a link of a, a great video. Here it is loading. And it's Kathy Schrock's Guide to Everything is the website. And um, here's this model that we were just looking at, looking at substitution, augmentation, modification and redefinition. And there's a really great video here with um, uh, with Dr. Rubin uh, who designed this model so that's well worth a look but this is really what I was interested in is this this how do we interweave Bloom into SAMA and um, you can see here the Bloom's taxonomy's um, higher order thinking levels here and how it interweaves with SAMA model so you can see that remembering uh, falls in the substitution domain, understanding and applying is being integrated into augmentation. So you need to understand something and apply it to your world when you are augmenting and using technology to augment that knowledge. Um, and you can see applying and analysing uh, thinking skills that are used in modifications. So you actually take the knowledge and you apply it to your world and you analyse, well, you know, what's good about it and what's not so good and how could I make it better, for example. And then final level is redefinition and you can see with Bloom's taxonomy evaluating the knowledge and then creating something else with that knowledge that you've learned is how you redefine um, and use technology to redefine and recreate it and present it in a new way that was previously that you couldn't do without technology. So let's go back to my mind map now. So that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this little video and um, don't forget to post your thoughts, comments or suggestions below. Bye for now, Joe Harris.